Hello everybody. I was fiddling with a way to uh, get a strip of NeoPixels LEDs into a classroom being coded by a micro bit so that kids could, you know, weekly get their chance to, you know, code their own um, light show kind of thing. And I wanted it so I so you didn't have to have it plugged into a computer all the time and that you didn't have to keep changing batteries. So I bought a Wallwort, a power adapter that's three volts and it goes to a barrel jack. That's all I could find was to a barrel jack. So then, I, and that was about seven dollars. And then I bought this adapter, which is barrel jack to USB, which is they come down to just under two dollars. Had bought it in a pack of four, there's larger packs. Uh, the problem I think I'm having. Now, right now, the LEDs are the NeoPixels are obviously plugged, not plugged into this. Um, they're plugged into the computer. And I think there's an amperage problem when I plug it into here. Um, this strip of NeoPixels is from Adafruit. It has alligator clips on the end. And it's about $15. And there's 30 of them on that half meter strip. Um, alligator clips make it easy to plug into a micro bit. So, I have, here's what I have it doing. It pops rainbow. And then it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, purple, or violet, purple, and then white, and then just repeats that. So you see it's doing that while plugged into the computer. And now let me plug in the power uh, supply, power adapter. So that's plugged in there, and I'm going to go here. And there we go. You see, it's not it's not dealing with colors well. Again, it goes rainbow, um, then red, orange, yellow. So that power so that power adapter is only two hundred fifty milliamps. I think that's the problem. I have another one coming. I ordered them both at the same time. That's um, one amp. So we will see for sure. And while I had you here, I thought I'd just show you another. Option so here was the the 84 you can buy I've got strips of neo pixels all over the place that I never use um, So there's the Adafruit one with alligator clips. I also had bought These you know it kind of looks like a Christmas string. It's uh, 50 lights long. They look big and um, They were about $15 also So Let's see how the, I'll just show you these they still have the same, they have the same problem. Um, now maybe I could just add extra power here. I'm thinking, like put five volts onto there. But I'm trying to make this you know simple and inexpensive, and not having to have to have multiple things. I was hoping to just go um, just straight from the micro bit, one hookup. So you've got micro bit, you've got a plug, you've got lights, a micro bit, and a plug, and that's what I wanted. So. Am I good? Yep. Again, you see it's having trouble with some of the colors, especially the blues, purple, or not so much blue, uh, indigo and violet. I've got to figure out a way to put 5 volts on there easily so I could test that idea also. But it's a neat strip light. It's called, what were they called? They was... Uh, uh, the brand name is Alatove, Alatove, um, WS2811, um, 12 millimeter is what the size of those are. Now here it is plugged into the computer. Yeah, much more vibrant, more colors. So we believe, I believe it is the uh, Ambridge because we're both supposedly getting three, three volts through the micro bit. So there you go. Some thoughts. I'll play with it more.